Hey there, this is Chetan and let's create a disk design. To create a design, you need to add the circle with the 24 words. Then go to the date mode, select everything and then press F to fill the gap. Then select this face and then use the insert operation. And then delete the face. Then you need to add another circle with 8 words. Then scale it down it. Then select everything and then press F to fill the gap. Then select these words rightly, connect to vertex path. And then select this edge and then Ctrl B add a bevel on it. Add one segment bevel. Then select these words and then move them along the Y axis. Adjust its scale and give the right position to it. Then select that first circular form and select this face loop. Deselect these faces and then delete the faces. Then extrude that block out part along the Z axis. Then you need to select both the objects and you need to use the boolean operation which is difference. Then apply the boolean modifier and then delete the cutter object. Now you need to go to the edit mode and you need to add the vertex like this. So control R add vertex. Then select the words right click connect vertex path and try to create the right chord based topology add there. Similarly you need to add the vertex to the outer side and then select the words right click connect vertex path. Then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create a straight cut like this. Make sure your cut should be straight. Then you can select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. And then use the insert operation add there. Then select these words right click connect vertex path and create the right chord based topology. Then here also you need to select the words and then create a path in between the words. And then you can select these face loops and you can delete these faces. You will get this kind of part. Then select everything and then shift D to duplicate it. And make sure you transform pivot point to the 3D cursor and then rotate it into the 15 degree. And you need to complete the circular shape at there. In this way. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then you need to select these edges and then Ctrl X to dissolve them. Then you need to select these faces with the shortest path selection and shift select and then rotate them into the small angle. Then select that center edge loop and then rotate it into the opposite direction. So we can create the curve shape at there. Then select these words and then rotate them into the small angle to maintain the good curve structure. So just you need to select these words and then rotate them in a small angle. You need to do this for inner words as well as the outer words. So you can get the good curve shape. Then just you need to select that center edge loop and then Ctrl B add a bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and give the right bevel width. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and then delete them. And then select that outer edge E to extrude it and then select that inner edge and E to extrude it. Now just you need to create a little bit of design add there. Select everything and then E to extrude it along the Z axis and add a little bit of thickness to it. Select this order edges and then Ctrl B add a bevel on them. And then use the insert operation to maintain the good form and to add the supported loop cuts. Then select these face loops with the shift select and then use the insert operation add there. Then you can add the subd modifier, increase the subd count up to 2 and now you can see that disc looks really well. Now let's add a little bit of design on it. So you can select these face loops with the shift select and then use the insert operation add there. And then just extrude them along the Z axis. And then use the insert operation one more time. And create a little bit of border design add there. And then set the origin to the geometry and take the symmetry along the Z axis. And now you can see that looks really well. And there you go. In this way you can create this kind of disk design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.